might be a bunch of like that. You know, that was all from St. Justin. No shit, we got a lot, bunch of people out there. I'm 66, right? No secret about that. How old are you? 29. You're eight years old. Yeah. I, hope that's your, I hope that's your dad holding you up like that. Yeah, oh, with none of this fucking P. Diddy bullshit, all right? This fucking, you know. Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah. In another life, another world, people like that wouldn't be around, would they? But anyway, yeah, speaking of another life, speaking of another world, I know you Americans, I know you love your motor cars. You know? I mean, honestly, uh, I mean, I have a soft spot for motor cars. My, my dad used to sell them when I was a kid, so all kinds of motor cars. I can't get excited about electric cars. Oh, it's not. I can't. It's like, there's no heart, there's no soul, there's no fucking fossil fuel being burned at the rate of not. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to you about a, a special, a very special sort of motor car. It was actually a complete commercial failure, um, but it had one redeeming feature. It could travel through space and time. I'm talking, of course, about the incredibly daft DeLorean motor car that was built. And, um, yeah, actually, I should ask this question. Does anybody out there, is there any strange person who actually owns one of these peculiar vehicles? No! No, that's just a thumbs down. No, no, you think it's a toaster, don't you? It's not a toaster, it's a real motor car. Made of stainless steel, sinks like a rock, but travels in time. You've got one? You don't have one. Why is everybody put their fucking hands up? Just fucking attention-seeking bullshit, man. I know it's America, but hey, come on, you know. So I'm going to ask you all a question. Exactly how many gigawatts of power are required to propel a DeLorean motor vehicle through the portal of space and time itself? 88 miles an hour. Fuck me, you're good. 1.21, exactly. It's written up on the, on, the, on the backdrop behind me, of course. If you've got the Century 2 album, you don't need any of that bullshit. Why? Because we have our, own, our very own Iron Maiden Time Machine. Thanks. 